Yo, what's going on everyone? Z Hunter 115 here, back with another Cold War Zombies video. Today I bring you another loadout to legendary weapon guide. This time we will be taking a look at the Magnum. In this video, I will be doing a full damage breakdown of this weapon to show you the damage increases from rarity to rarity and also show you the damage increases that Pack-a-Punch brings to each rarity. So, before I get into this video, if you all find it informative or helpful in any way, a like rating is greatly appreciated and if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that'll be awesome as well. So, starting off with the common pistol or the loadout variant, you deal 75 damage to the body. Now, if your pistol skills is upgraded, you can increase your close range damage by 10%, so that'll give you around 82.5 damage up close. And now for the headshot damage, the headshot multiplier for this weapon is 5.5. So 75 times 5.5 gives you around 412.5. And if you have your pistol skills unlocked, you can gain another 10% increase to your headshot damage. That gives us around 453.75 crit damage. And if you're using Deadshot and you have that perk upgraded, it will double that damage on enemies that are at full health. Anyway, now let's talk about the increases per rarity. The green or uncommon rarity deals 45% more damage than your loadout weapon. So body damage would be 108 and headshot damage would be 657. The rare or blue rarity will deal 95% more damage than the loadout variant. So the damage is 146 and the headshot is 884. Epic or purple will deal 205% more damage. So it'll be 228 to the body and 1383 to the head. And the orange or legendary will deal 300% more damage. So it would be 300 to the body and 1815 to the head. All these numbers you see here are the non-pack-a-punch variants of the magnum in each rarity. Now let's add all the Pack-a-Punch damages. For tier 1, all these rarities will deal 2.11 times the damage. Tier 2 will take it to 4.11 times the damage. And tier 3 will take it to 8.64 times the damage. And as you see, here are all the damage numbers displayed. So let me guide you through this scuffed chart that I made. At the top, from left to right, we have all the rarities. Then going down, you can see the body and headshot damage with no Pack-a-Punch, then Tier 1, then Tier 2, and Tier 3 Pack-a-Punch. And remember, all of our headshot damage listed can be doubled if you are using Deadshot and an enemy is at full health. Also, all these numbers will receive a 10% increase if you are at close range. And if you're using the Ring of Fire field upgrade, when you stand inside the ring, all these numbers will actually be 5 times higher. But anyway, as you see here, the lowest damage numbers possible with the Magnum, the loadout non pack a punch is 75 and 453 for a headshot. And the highest damage is that a legendary fully papped Magnum will deal 2591 body damage and 15,676 headshot damage. That is 35 times more damage from loadout to fully upgrade a legendary magnum. And that's not even counting being in the ring of fire, which will actually bring you to 173 times the original damage. Also, the health cap for the zombies is 30k. So, two headshots with the tier 3 Pack-a-Punch legendary magnum will basically kill each normal zombie. And if you have dead shot fully upgraded, you can basically one shot a full health enemy with the crit shot. And now for the damage formula. Yes, it's like math class, but it's better because we're talking about a video game, you know? Anyway, it's 75 because that's the base damage of the Magnum. 75 multiplied by rarity, multiplied by pack a punch tier, multiplied by close range, multiplied by ring of fire, multiplied by 5.5, multiplied by 1.1, multiplied by dead shot bonus. Everything in bold is obviously situational and the yellow text is only included for headshot calculations. Anyway, for the rarity, you would multiply by one for the loadout magnum, 
For the green or uncommon magnum, you would multiply by 1.45. For the blue or rare magnum, you would multiply by 1.95. For the purple magnum, you would multiply by 3.05. And for the orange or legendary magnum, you would multiply by 4. And for the Pack-a-Punch tier, for tier 1, you multiply by 2.106666. For the tier 2 Pack-a-Punch, you would multiply by 4.10666. And for the tier 3 Pack-a-Punch, you would multiply by 8.63666. For the close range shots, you would multiply by 1.1. Again, this is situational. Ring of Fire is also situational, so you would multiply by 5. If not, you don't even include it here. And for Deadshot, whenever you do crits, you would multiply by 2. But again, only against enemies that are at full health. Otherwise, you do not include this part. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to drop a like, as that would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that will be awesome as well. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.